Welcome back to Airbrush Review SA in conjunction with Pelagons.com. Uh, today we'll be shooting at home. Uh, as you guys would know, in South Africa we're on total lockdown because of the virus that is spreading, COVID-19. And uh, so we are doing lockdown shooting in our own back garden. So today with me I have the Kroll Jumbo Dazzle. Dazzle. It's a pretty nice air rifle. I'll show you what comes in the box. Uh, we'll do a five shot groupings. Uh, we'll just check around about the standard things that go with it. It's a pretty nice air rifle. But yeah, so one thing that I want to mention is when you guys are shooting in the back of your garden, please keep it low down, level with your walls. Do not shoot higher than your walls because otherwise you're going to damage your neighbor's property and you do not want to do that. Uh, the other thing is that you guys need to watch out is if you do shoot birds, make sure you shoot it in your own yard. Don't shoot it in the neighbor's yard and let the pigeons drop in their yard. They won't be happy. They're going to call the police and the police are going to put your ass in jail. So don't do that. So please don't stuff it up for everybody else. Keep it down low at your own place, at your own house. Make sure you've got a silencer. If you don't have a silencer, just make sure your neighbors are okay with you shooting your air rifle. If they're not and it's making too much of a noise, they are definitely going to call the cops. Like I said, they're going to put you to jail. So let's not talk about that. Let me show you what comes in the box. It's pretty nice and you get 300 shots per full not only on one tank on two tanks because you get two tanks inside the box which is quite nice but uh, yeah like 150 shots on one tank that's really good so let's go check it out so this is it I've removed this remove that open it up this is what you get in the box okay well not the silencer I put the silencer in myself you get a small little box let me show you what you get inside the small little box you'll get an extra two magazines 12 shot ladies and gentlemen 12 shot so here's another one there's another one okay then you get a full probe that you put onto your bottle this crawl one is a bit different you can't use the standard one as you can see i put my own uh, makeshift one at the back here so that i can charge it up from my own bottle and you get a single shot magazine and then you get allen key which is quite nice so let's go furthermore to the other stuff you get a second bottle and there's one on the gun so you get about 300 shots off a full from both of them so it's 150 shots off this one and 150 shots off the second one and what's quite nice about it is when you charge it up and you can remove it so no air will escape which is a good thing well done on them and then what you get is a bipod in this little bag right here. Box, not bag. This is quite a nice nifty little bipod. So it looks quite cool. I'll show you in a bit how this one works. Then we go through the air gun. It's a nice adjustable cheek piece here. You can move it back or forth for the length. It has a rubber butt pad at the back here and it's got a switch. So this switch will make it fold. Then it's got a two, a, a, a two. It's got adjustable two-stage trigger, match grade. It's even got a nice rubber grip for AR-15. It's got a nice safety for fire and safe, and it's quite nice and easy to use. Then you've got a side cocking lever. Oh, brilliant on this rifle! And then obviously you've got your power adjuster. That is pretty a good one. Then, a nice little feature on this one, it's got your Picatinny rail at the bottom. It's not just short, it's a very long one. And it comes standard on this, this gun. That is a quite a nice feature. Then, obviously, because we're shooting in the back garden, I'm going to put a, on a Donny FL silencer. There we go, that's the one. And it's got thread in the front here, which is quite nice. I really, really like this air rifle. Let me show you how it looks. There we go. Cross down there. We've got our target. So that's about 34 meters that we are shooting. So yeah, let's go check how it does. Let's do a couple of shots there. So we'll check you in a bit. This is my wife. 
She's going to do a 34 meter five shot grouping and let's see how it does. This air rifle is pretty good for anybody to shoot. So anybody can shoot this piece of machinery with ease. It's a nice repeatable air rifle. As you can see, very easy. Two stage trigger, pretty nice to pull. It's not that hard. And uh, yeah, brilliant little rifle. There we go, that was the last shot, well done. Okay, I'm gonna do a five shot grouping at uh, 34 meters with the JSB 18.13 grain pellets. Uh, it performs quite well with this one. Uh, the previous one when my wife shot was with the uh, Hades and um, they also did pretty well. This gun is not pellet fussy. Um, another thing is I want to mention is uh, if you have a look at this, both group uh, that I shot here on the splatter burst target and then just on the normal paper, these are 12 shots each. So you can't really see the difference between the shots there. Um, this one looks way better than on the splatter burst tog. So that's what I've noticed, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're just going to need to... I'm going to shoot now with the JSB 18 grains on the normal paper. It gives me a better group size. So let's go on and let's see how it does. So let's get everything sorted and set. Okay, let's go for it. Five shot grouping. 34 yards, uh, 34 meters, not yards. That was number five, and that was a brilliant grouping. So let's go check how it looks down, down range. I'll take a photo for you and show you how I did. But that's pretty good. Loves the 18 grain. In the next video we'll be doing the hunting with a Kroll Jumbo Dazzle. So stay tuned, subscribe so you'll see the next one.